Hi kids, welcome to the Canal Safety Education Program sponsored by MID. The Modesto Irrigation District has many canals located throughout Stanislaus County, California. And there's one nearby that we're going to visit. How many of you don't know what a canal is? For those of you who don't know, have you ever seen those really long, skinny things with concrete sides full of water? Sometimes they're on the side of the roads or next to a field. Those are canals. And we're going to go see one right now. Splasher, what are you doing here? I heard you were teaching kids about the canals, and I'm here to make sure that you're all being safe and staying away from the canal. Uncle Splasher, can I come with you guys? Well, that's up to our instructor, Miss Lene. Students, this is Splasher, the MID canal safety frog, and his young nephew, Squirt. What do you think? Should we let him come with us? Yeah! <laughs> all right, let's go. Can't we go down to the edge to see it better? It's not safe to go near the edge of the canal. You could fall in. Thank you, Splasher. But it's just water. I can swim. It may look like it's just water, but unfortunately, sometimes there's a lot more in the canals than just water. We'll talk about that and why you should never swim in the canals a bit later. Right, Splasher? That's right, Miss Lene. Okay, students, let's get started. Who can tell me where the water in this canal comes from? The mountains. The mountains, very good. The Sierra Nevada mountains, to be exact. The Tuolumne River starts out as melting snow and ice up in the mountains. And as it travels down, it collects water from streams and creeks, and it flows into the Don Pedro Reservoir, a giant lake formed by Don Pedro Dam. Now, the water stays in the dam until it is released into the MID canals. But where does the water go from there? The 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 whoa, whoa, I like the excitement, and you are all correct. When a farmer turns on the water to irrigate their crops, it comes from canals just like this one. MID irrigates crops for 58,000 acres of farmland in our area. How big is that? It's huge! Well, let me put it this way. How many of you have ever been to Disneyland? <laughs> I've been there! Me too! Well, our canals water an area of farmlands almost as big as 400 Disneylands put together. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Does anyone know how deep this canal is? 40 feet! 47 feet! 40 feet. Oh, Sounds like we're not too sure. Let's find out. Splasher, would you help me choose two volunteers to measure the depth of this canal? How about you and you? You're the tallest, I think. The rope they're holding has knots in it. Now each of the knots is about two feet apart. Let's see how many knots tall you are, Noah. Hold it up. Now Noah here is two and a half knots tall. Now, holding onto the rope, throw the weight over the edge until it touches the bottom of the canal. The weight will hold it down. All right, now go ahead and pull it back up. And let's see how deep it is. One, One two, three, four, five. five. How many knots on the rope are wet? Five. 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 And they're at two foot intervals. So how deep is the canal? Two times five? Ten. Ten. Ten feet deep, that's right. Is anyone here tall enough to stand in the canal with their head poking out? No. No. no! Right! That's an important reason to stay away from canals. They're very deep. And here's another reason that you should never swim in the canals. High turbidity. tur what -ity? Turbidity. Turbidity is a way of measuring how cloudy or muddy the water is, how well you can see. High turbidity means that it's very difficult to see because it's muddy and murky. Can anyone see the bottom of the canal there? No! Well, if you can't see the bottom, how do you know what's in there? You don't know. That's right, Squirt. So never swim in the canals. Tell them why, Miss Lene. Well, the sad truth is many people throw gross and disgusting things into the canals. Every year, MID employees have to go in and clean stuff out of the canals. Do you guys have any idea what they might find in the canal? 
Unfortunately, you are all correct. Hidden things like this under the water can be very dangerous because you can get your foot tangled up in them, you can get held underwater, stuck, and you can drown. So the smartest thing to do is just... Stay away! Good answer! Now, turn and look. Can you see how the sides of the canal are very steep? Yeah, they're like straight up and down. That's right. Are there any steps or ladders to get in and out? No. That means that if you fall in, it would make it extremely hard for you guys to get back out. What's that green stuff? I'm glad you asked. Does anyone know what the slimy stuff is on the sides of the canal? Is it algae? Very good. And how does algae feel? Slimy. Gross. I put some right there in the shopping cart for you. Check it out. Uh... Now imagine you were in the canal and the sides were covered with that slimy green algae and you were trying to get out. Wouldn't that make it very difficult? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it would make it extremely dangerous and that's another reason that we should... Stay away! I think you've got it. Now another reason that you should never swim in the canals is because of the temperature. Does anyone remember where this water comes from? From the snow! From up in the mountains! That's right. Do you think snow water would be hot or cold? Cold! That's right. The water stays very cold because after it leaves the mountains, it never stops moving. If you fall in or try to swim in the canal, you can get something called hypothermia. And that is when your internal body temperature drops so low that you can die. Now, take a look at the water. There's another reason that you should never swim in canals, the current. Do you see the leaves down there? Oh, yeah. I see them. Mm -hmm. See how they're moving? On the top, they're moving kind of slowly, but underneath, the water is moving very fast. And you could fall in, get sucked under there, and get pulled away. And that's very dangerous. So please, never... Never swim in the canal. canal! Right on, kids! Okay, students, we have learned five different reasons that you should never swim in the canals. Can you name them all? The water's deep, way over my head! Excellent, that's one. The sides are slippery and steep, so you really can't get out. Very good, that's two. Yeah, the water is muddy and you can't see the bottom. Right, so what does that mean? You might not see something bad down there that could hurt you and make you drown. Yes, that's right. That's three. You guys are doing great. What else? The water is still really cold. That's right. So you could get hypothermia, right? Yep. All right, that's four. There's one more. The current has moved fast so it could pull you down. Terrific. You guys got all five of them correct. Yay! You did an excellent job today. Can we thank our special guests, Splasher and Squirt, for joining us? Thank you, Splasher and Squirt. Hey, let's all go have some safe fun in the water. <laughs> and remember my water safety rules. Oh, let me, Uncle Splasher. I know them all. Okay, Squirt. Let's see what you've got. Learn how to swim. Swim and play in safe places. Always swim with an adult. Stay away from canals. You've made me very proud.